This is the Japan the world has come to know, if not love. A country of law-abiding citizens, largely distinct from other nations in its post-World War II aversion to violence. A people obsessed with putting in a long day at the shop or office. But the Japanese know their society functions on another level as well. This is the other. These scenes provide a rare view into Japan's underworld. A world of tightly organized crime families known collectively here as the Yakuza. It is a world steeped in centuries-old traditions and rituals, some based on the ideals of Japanese samurai warriors. Courage, honor, willingness to lay down one's life for one's fellows, and determination to be intimidated by no outsider. One ritual, self-mutilation, cutting off fingers at the joint. The Yakuza consider this the sincerest act of atonement short of death itself for misbehavior or disobedience to the Oyabun, or Godfather. The severed portion is wrapped in a handkerchief and presented as a token of remorse to the Oyabun or whoever suffered the wrong. Well, some people make mistakes, right? So they cut. Such mistakes include, in the case of this gangster, reckless gambling. Skillful gambling, such as the card game demonstrated by these gangsters, is a big part of the Yakuza tradition. The term Yakuza itself is an acronym of three card numbers. Ya, eight, ku, nine. Za, three. That's a losing combination in a game called Hanafuda, or flower cards. Mainstream Japan, the Yakuza know, regards them as losers in life. The 88,000 known gangsters now active in Japan come largely, as the Yakuza traditionally have, from impoverished Japanese families and underclasses that include the Korean minority here. Yakuza rituals dramatized in Hollywood movies like Black Rain aren't far off the mark. Full body tattoos are a kind of underworld uniform for these gangsters. The hands, neck, and face are left untouched so they can blend in public wearing a suit without calling attention to this not-so-subtle Yakuza trademark. I thought it was cool, so I got it done. Japanese police are officially at odds with the Yakuza, but the gangs are so prevalent the police are forced to practice some measure of tolerance. The Yakuza have long-standing ties to Japan's fanatical right-wing political groups, and many are avowed ultra-nationalists. We are anti-communists. We die for the emperor, too. After World War II, the U.S. occupation used the Yakuza to ensure the survival of conservative government in Japan. And in 1960, the governing Liberal Democratic Party called on the gangs to help police quell leftist protests over a new U.S.-Japan security treaty. What draws these outcasts to the Yakuza on the surface is a world of flashy cars, expensive suits, and high living. But just as real to the outcasts is the feeling of belonging. One group the Yakuza don't accept into their ranks is women. In a culture where women's rights still have a long way to go, women have their place in Yakuza life. Many work as hostesses and waitresses in the bars operated by these gangsters throughout Japan. Entertainers for the Yakuza and their clients. This freewheeling lifestyle is supported mainly, Japanese police say, by a variety of organized criminal activity. Yakuza gangsters recruit women from Japan, Thailand, and countries throughout Asia to work as prostitutes in Japan's bustling sex industry. They sell a form of speed in Japan called shabu and export this and other drugs to the west where it's known in Hawaii as ice. Speed is by far the drug of choice in workaholic Japan. Other drugs are relatively uncommon here. But Japanese police say the Yakuza are bringing in more and more cocaine. The Yakuza are still involved, too, police say, in illegal bookmaking and a host of other crimes such as gun running and extortion. The U.S. Attorney General's office says Yakuza gangsters are increasingly expanding their criminal activities overseas to California, New York, and other states, something Japanese police and some of Japan's top gangs deny. But Yakuza leaders do acknowledge some gangsters are investing abroad. Cheap real estate abroad, especially the price level of real estate abroad, is different from that of Japan. I think there are some who have invested a little in these real estate properties abroad. As the Yakuza become more international, some gang leaders are encouraging young recruits to adopt a new style, to move more into legal business and associated white-collar activity. The old rituals live on, though. Police believe nearly half the gangsters in Japan today have missing fingers. Three-fourths have tattoos, known here as Irezumi. 
Tattoos etched on in a time-consuming, painful procedure that tests the patients and the Yakuza believe prove a member's willingness to endure suffering for the group. But Ide Zumi has lasting significance as well. It is seen as one way of committing oneself to the Yakuza, a commitment as permanent as the images on the skin. Just as companies in Japan provide lifelong employment to workers in the everyday world, the Yakuza offer outcasts lifelong belonging in the underworld. Taylor Henry, CNN, Tokyo.